hemoglobin disassociation curve is shown below. Sketch the expected curve following an increase in pH. Think about what happens when there the conditions when pH is increased. So pH is decreased in active tissues. These are tissues that are using a lot of oxygen and generating CO2. And what we want to happen is decreased hemoglobin affinity for oxygen. So the result is, if pH is decreased, we get the shift to the right that we talked about. However, in the lungs, pH is going to be increased. That would be an example of higher, higher pH. And what we want to do is increase the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen because we want the hemoglobin to take the oxygen from the lungs. Therefore, there is going to be a shift to the left. So the curve is going to be shifted to the left. So taking a look at this just to check, shift to the left is correct, at a partial pressure of, say, 30. In my original curve, there is about 55% hemoglobin saturation. In my new curve, at a partial pressure of 30, there is actually a saturation of more like 90%. This is a difference of 35. That much more oxygen was grabbed. It was picked up, which is what you want. So the answer is that there would be a shift to the left, so the curve would look roughly like this. That concludes this lecture on circulation. Thank you for visiting Educate.